Hello friends. Today I am explain how to create a cookie in ASP.NET. So first of all we create cookie. So first of all we know what is cookie. Cookie is a small piece of information which is stored in client machine. There are two type of cookie. First is persistent cookie and second is non persistent cookie. Persistent cookie is stored in a text file and non persistent cookie is stored in a web browser. So now we create one cookie demo. First of all, we take a one web application in ASP.NET. Select web and ASP.NET web application, then create cookie demo now we create a two divisions tag now we add two aspx page first is create create cookie Okay. Add now second one page is welcome page, right? Welcome. Okay. Now would now we take two division tag. First division tag and another division tag now in first division tag we give id it's like msg div then run it is equal to server now it can be visible false first we don't see whatever information in this division is not visible now second division tag we give id name is txt division div run it is equal to server visible is equal to false now we take one label control inside the first division tag now text property is blank now we take one text box inside inside the second division tag then take another control like button so create we give the text property name text property value create cookie now save now we are going to design and click on button then we can give uh, another file reference uh, welcome page so here we type response dot redirect and give name give the reference of another page welcome dot aspx and on that page welcome dot aspx page we give one label control and here text property is blank okay now change uh, id of label in a welcome page lbl name now we change 
the text box name uh, button btn sign up sign up and here text box id is txt name so here we give the br break line now we change the name so we put the code inside the button sign up so now it can delete so so we type here welcome to our website 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 okay now we create a query string on a create by create cookie page and click on create now here put the question mark and give name as a key and now concat txt name dot text okay now see web browser I run this application so we see the blank data because on a web browser oh, we have hidden all the IV tags means false so now look at over here it's a create cookie dot ASPX page is false false or div so we don't see any control on this page now we create cookie on a page load so first of all create one variable its type is create one variable dim http cookie its type of http cookie now we can assign value request dot cookie and give the cookie name user info now suppose first of all http cookie is a nothing so we create if condition http cookie is nothing nothing then then message uh, txt division dot visible visible true else msg division dot visible is equal to true now you will see control on a create cookie dot aspx page and control on a browser so now we create we put data on a punch chart in a text box and click on a create cookie so here data is coming in a query string now we create a code over here on a, uh, what happened over here 
data is not coming here so we type on a page load of a welcome page so here first of all label control lbl name dot text is equal to request dot query string and a query string name is well name is a key whatever we create over here it is put it here welcome page code behind so now we can check here we want to run page as a start as a start page so now first now again now put the data in text box run a chart click on create now what happen over here for uh, data is showing in query string and now data is showing in here okay now we create a crew key on a sign up button it's a very easy but it is very important code over here so first of all we create again http cookie variable as new http cookie cookie name is user info so cookie name so now http cookie dot values in the bracket in double quotation client client name it's a whatever data is coming from a text box which is stored in a client name it's a value oops here is a values dot add now here is the give the parameter as a text box name txt name dot text so now when to cookie is expire so here we put the code how to expire cookie so http cookie dot expire is equal to date time date time dot now dot add days one day we give the one right now we create response response dot cookie dot add in the bracket we pass the value http cookie without this line it is a very important without this line we cannot create a cookie in a web browser here is the code expire when the cookie is expired here that code is coming from text box and which is which value is assigned a client name so this code is a very small but it is a very very important code for create a cookie in a browser it is for it is used for a persistent cookie now we will check in a browser first we create uh, put uh, give the name uh, and create a cookie so here cookie uh, query string and here a cookie value it is coming from tax box so now check cookie is created 
first of all we uh, uh, now we go to in uh, google chrome setting and check how to create cookie in a web browser so in setting we go to in click on advance in a privacy content setting content setting so cookie cookie data now we type over here local host now we see our cookie here is the cookie name username which is given and client name Ronak Panchar its name domain is the local host and when to expire cookie it is a date 2017 cookie is created on 15 August 2017 and cookie expire after one day so which is a complete cookie code now we see it is a complete code to see how to create cookie thank you thank you everyone for watching this video thank you